All right, guys, welcome back. This is Bad Senator. So today we are going to work a little bit more about getting materials. As you can see, I've kind of built a base here at the bottom. And I'm realizing quickly that this base puts me really far away from a lot of ores I like to get to. So I kind of want to do that. I kind of want to have a base that's like up there so I can get ores. I kind of also want to have a water bucket, like an infinite water source, in my base so I can go fishing and have a reliable food source in. So, those are the two things I really want to get done. However, I need to get string in order to do those two things. Ah, uh, there we go. There are my sounds. Because I'd really, really like to have two, um, get a fishing rod. And then we can go up to the mountains and get three more iron. That would be cool. Alright, we need to get some sand though to make that stain glass. We need to get eight to be exact. And eight. There we go. Oh no, I'm losing air. Alright, there we go. We made it. Alright. So now, as Javadad pointed out in my video, these ink sacks are illegal. I, them. I thought that squids counted as fish that you could use. Oh dear. Obviously, in the MHC ruling, it says that you're not allowed to kill any passive mobs. I thought squids counted as fish because the MHC rules also say that you can eat fish and use fish in your crafting recipes. I thought squids were fish. But apparently not, according to the MHC rules. So, I can't legally use... I'll need to find some other way of dyeing my stained glass. Which is a little bit of a bummer, but oh well. well hmm. I'm kind of wondering, what should we do next? I think what we should do next is kind of go up to the mountains and see if we can get the three iron for a bucket. Wait, no, actually, we should... There's gonna be springs up there anyway, because, like... Wait. I think we should spend this episode down here, getting some materials down here, and then wait until it becomes night, and then we can kill some spiders, giving us string for the fishing rod, and then we go back up to the surface. Or not the surface, the high mountains. Except the infinite water source that I can fish in. And from there I can just get food like that. However, as of right now, we need to get some other um, ways of getting food. So I guess we're gonna have to try to get some apples in. Look at that. Our thing broke. Alright, well let's use this. Let's cut down this oak tree, see if we can get any apples. I'm also thinking maybe we could get some seeds, maybe we could farm, but I'm not going to be in my base for long, so unfortunately that's not really an option. But we have mushrooms, I see a mushroom. If we can find brown mushrooms, so we can get access to soup, which is a very good food source in MHC. And this is kind of dark. There's probably going to be a mob in here, something like that. That goes down pretty deep. Okay, we got ourselves four red mushrooms. We need to find four brown mushrooms. Let's go see if there's any apples here. Any apples? I'm afraid not. Anyway. Let's go into some more shaded areas, see if we can find brown mushrooms. That's a pretty cool little platform there. That's weird. I think I may see something like through there, but I'm not sure. Oh, skeleton. Let's just get far away from there. The issue is you have to go into treacherous areas in order to get the 
skeleton. Or you're going to have to get into Twitch's streams to get the um, brown mushrooms. And there's probably going to be skeletons there. So that's not good. We're on three and a half hearts, which is not a comfortable level of health. I am -o. I'm gonna build a little base. I'm gonna build a little base like up here, and hopefully mobs will spawn, and spiders will spawn, and then I can kill them for sure. Let's build a little base in here. And then we'll like put a um block like this. So I guess the next order of business is trying to find something to dye our um, sand with. Or to dye our glass with. No, I, I think flowers definitely do spawn in this world. I think anyway. Could be wrong. Hmm. Yeah. Actually, let's go see if there's anything else that we could use. Let's get back to our base. Um, let's go see. I, I don't want to pause the game, though. Okay, whatever. I will pause it. All right. Jukebox, gold block, polished andesite, iron bars, rail, stained glass block, yeah. There's really not a whole lot we can really do at this point without going all the way back up to the mountains. And I don't really want to do that because then I have to go all the way back down to get the mobs and the fishing. And so, I really don't want to go up into the mountains right now. So I guess it's just a waiting game at this point. Oh, could I make it all the way up? Let's see, what's our Y level? Our Y level is 72, so... Yeah, by the time we made it up, it'd be nighttime. So let's go see if there's any flowers around we can use as stained glass blocks. Let's go over here. I have a feeling there's going to be something over here. Building the bridge. Yeah. Now, I would like some clarification on something. So, usually I just watch the MHC video the day of the recording of my first video. Like, I'm not really an avid, avid member. I'm just kind of like a casual player. So, I only really check the video the day of. Like, I recording the video. My video on Baker Bell's channel. So I apparently missed out on all the fun, I guess you could say, or the drama, you could say, of the Alchemist challenge. And I didn't really know what it was, and I kind of want to know what it was. I don't really like missing out on stuff. So someone could comment below what the Al oh dear, we got a zombie. What the Alchemist challenge consisted of? Please give me a carrot, rats. If anyone can tell me that stuff, I would be very happy. I'll watch your MHC videos and like them all. You can get some free likes. Alright, let's see. I don't really see any flowers at this point. We got, we got Okay, flower, flower, flower alert. We got a flower alert in here. Flower alert. Alright, now we can go back to our little base and make some... We took more fall damage. That's just awesome. Go back to our base, cook the sand up in a furnace, and get some blue glass, hopefully. Or some red glass, excuse me. Alright, here we go. Let's make some torches. It's dark in here. Alright. So something else I would like, I'd like to have access to the water, because right after I get the string from
from the spider, I can go right down and start fishing. That's the ideal scenario. Alright. Let's see, let's put the sand in there, and let's put the coal in there. And let's turn to our phone for the recipe. You know, let's just do it on the computer. I mean, what should I do? Alright, yeah, we'll do it on the phone. Low on battery, but right now we will make do. Alright, Minecraft stained glass recipe. I think it's like the or the dye in the middle and then the glass all around it. Let me just make sure. Yep, I was right. It was the dye and then the glass blocks around it. That makes the stained glass. Oh, here's some water. Awesome. Yeah, where, where does this go? Oh, it's a water spring, actually. Hmm. Oh dear. I kind of want to contain this water. So yeah, let's put up some barriers like that. Because I want to have direct access to the water, because fish can't come from flowing water, actually. So let's block this water off from ever reaching the ground. And then we'll put, like, here, here, and then... Here. And here, and it should create a dam preventing water from flowing beneath there, which is good. Look at that, more fall damage. We are just the best at this. Alright. Alright, there we go. We got a little shaft here we can kind of drop in. And I think we can fish. Let's just create one lower layer. If a skeleton shoots me, I'm toast, but that's okay. I think from here, we're going to be able to fish. Oh, it looks like... Make a little platform, I guess. Actually, yeah, this is gonna be good. Alright. Here's our fishing hole. Alright. Here we go, we got the five glass. And now we can officially create the fourth component of the radio transmitter, the red stained glass. Alright, let's make a chest and put some of our unneeded items in it. Alright, chest. Don't need that yet, don't need that, don't need any of these probably, won't need that yet. Don't need those, don't need those. Won't need that yet, don't need that. Actually, I think I'd like to hold on to that actually. No wait, yeah, we just make a new one. New one if we want. Won't really need that, or this, or this, or this, or this. Or that. Alright. We've cleared out our inventory pretty well. And, let's go spider hunting. We don't have a shield yet. Wait, where did our shield go? Oh, we had a shield. Well, humbug. We actually have a pretty good idea for how we can set this up. Alright. So we can build a door like this, so we can quickly get inside if necessary. And then we, like, dig a little thing right here get to the outside world to kind of like attack the mob from the feet in a safer like location. All right, I like this. All right. And let's put down our other furnace here. And doors, doors are the extra andesite. All right, we have a pretty clear inventory. Let's go out and kill some mobs. Alright. Come on, spider. I want you, spider. Spider, spawn for me. Come on, spider, where are you at? Is that a spider? Nope, it's just a silly bat. That's all it is, the silly bat. Hmm. I don't like this. 
I need to get me a fishing pole. There may be something over here. Why? Why is it that you must take so much damage? What's that? I see little particles. It's an Enderman. Look at that. Yeah, better not try to get that Enderman's attention exactly. Because that's not. No, this auto jump's gonna kill me. Let's go turn off this auto jump. Auto jump. I mean, music and sounds. Wait, it's in the control, I think. Auto jump off. Done. Done. Back to game. Okay, oh no, there's a skeleton. Of course, there's gotta be a skeleton right there. Yeah, this wasn't a good idea. But we need to make our way back over to our house and we need to eat um, zombie flesh. And I hate to say it, but zombie flesh, we need to eat that at this point. I don't know. I don't want to risk Mm -hmm. No. Okay. Any potential skeleton shots? Because just one of those are probably going to kill me. Let's light it up. Get some light up in here. Alright. Oh, let's... oh dear. I'm kind of in the right area, though. There's our base right there. I see it. Let's dig down. Dig underground and try to get it. That sounds like a good idea. Alright. We can't go through the skeleton. Let's just, let's just avoid by digging around it. Oh man. It's probably just safe just to go through here. I bet. Well, do this. You gotta do it though. Zombie flesh, here we go. Oh man. Okay. Alright. We're restoring a little bit of health, which is good. We're back up to three. That's good. Surprisingly, we haven't gotten any. Oh, yeah, we're losing hunger. All right, come on, three and a half, three and a half. Let's go for four. Go for four. Oh, and there we go. That's the end of it. All right, four. We got four hearts. Yeah, we got three, two, one. I broke even there. We got. Two and a half hearts back, and a lot of our hunger back. Man, this is crazy. You can't kill passive mobs. That makes it really hard. That's a really clever rule, because, like, it makes it so you can't really get food. I'm going to turn out my sounds, so... If I hear a skeleton, I can run. You know, I'm trying to find a spider. That skeleton's down there. Wait, we haven't gone through this area really yet. Open, oh, it's turning daytime. Look at that. Two days spent getting almost nothing. Hmm. Alright. I don't really know, guys. There's... This is tough. The terrain makes it really hard, too. If we for the terrain, we'd probably be able to find these spiders easily, but... I guess not. I guess we can try to find some over there, but it's turning day. I think next episode, we're gonna go up... Into the mountains. I mean, our hunger is... We have a pretty, we have a pretty good hunger situation. So I think we'd be able to survive up there. Well, we, we, we at least make buy up there. We'd be able to survive. 
Probably not with as much health and hunger as I'd like to have, but we could do it. And it looks like it is going to be day two soon. Technically not day two, but I'm going to end this episode because it is essentially day two. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye.